Hey everyone, welcome back. This is BBT Tech, and today I'm reviewing the Razer Work From Home Pro Click Mini. Let's get right into this unboxing. We get a pretty basic packaging, which I prefer since you know most of um, where your money's going to is right into that mouse instead of some fancy packaging. And with Razer's Work From Home products, they certainly have moved and differentiated themselves from just a gaming company with that gamers for gamers by gamers design. The shape is very small and it's pretty portable and that's expected with the name. However, don't let that name fool you since the overall fit and feel on this mouse in my hands is surprisingly comfortable. And for references, my hand size is 23 centimeters from the palm to the longest tip of my hands. The switches are now silent, but yet still very tactile, which is great for use working in an office setting, library, or just somewhere where you need to be quiet. However, that scroll wheel, man, it's it's got a distinct click and a noise that's way more audible than the rest of the mouse, which kind of knocks it down for me. But it does make up for it with this uh, new free flow scrolling, which certainly is really nice to have and you can easily activate it behind the scroll wheel with a simple button click. Another feature of the mouse is that it's using two forms of connection from a 2.4 GHz wireless connection and Bluetooth. And with the latency testing, you can honestly pretty much game with the 2.4 GHz connection as there really isn't any lag from what I can tell. I take them! Oh. Oh. And I do wish to see that there was an option to also have it be able to be plugged into your computer or laptop, which sets us up to talk about its power of this mouse. In my opinion, using some AA batteries is a bit of a knocker since it's coming in at $100 in Canada. And there are arguments with a fast, easy swap of batteries, which does allow you to get a full 100% charge, as well as you only need pretty much only one AA battery to have the mouse working. But at this price range, I do expect a little bit more, at least Razer throw in some chargeable batteries or something since we're going to generate more e-waste with uh, disposable batteries and just not a really great look in my opinion. And then there's the argument of just buying chargeable batteries, but at that point, why not just include it to begin with and instead of me having to go out to buy a chargeable battery and a chargeable battery case for it, you know, it just doesn't really make up that whole value for the hundred dollars. Especially when Razer's wireless gaming product lineups are fantastic, honestly. I use the Razer Viper on a daily for my gaming sessions and have no issues with this charging dock. But what do you guys think? Am I being a little bit too nitpicky or do you guys think this is justified? Let me know down in the comments. And I do have a quick comparison with the long time tried and tested Logitech MX Anywhere mouse, which is a direct competitor of this uh, Razer Pro Click Mini, to be honest, since there really isn't any sort of product competing this range. So where the Razer mouse performs better than the MX Anywhere mouse is that it's got a nicer ergonomic feel with much nicer side grips. And then the left and right click being more quieter does help a lot with its portable features when you're working on a library or just anywhere quiet. Also, portability on the Razer mouse is much nicer since you can carry the Razer wireless dongle with it inside the mouse case, whereas the MX Anywhere mouse doesn't have anywhere to put that dongle. Now moving to the MX Anywhere mouse, it does have a quieter middle mouse click and the side buttons are definitely more tactile than the Razer. Another great bonus is that the MX Anywhere mouse has a 3 device connectivity whereas the Razer only has 2, which can be performed over its 2.4 GHz wireless and Bluetooth connectivity. And both perform on par with tracking and suitable software for both mice having the abilities to map out different key functions such as setting up the side clicks to a copy and paste function, which is what I tend to run on my productivity mice. Overall, the Razer Pro Click Mini has a very premium feel and look, so you wouldn't really be embarrassed whipping it out on the table. And that's it for my quick unboxing and review of the Razer Pro Click Mini. If you guys like this video, give it a like and comment down below. This is BBT Tech, signing out. Peace.